Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Guys, today's video I'm going to do a property tour of my condo, of our first home. You know, you can say house in Canada, but it's actually uh, our first home in Canada that we purchased this need to own a mortgage. It's right here on Edmonton Trail right close to downtown calgary guys look at that how they're building I, I, I never remember that building when i used to live here if you watch this channel for years guys i showed a lot of videos from this area in fact this taqueria behind me i was harassing our mayor at that time nanchi he was running the calgary and he was eating tacos here and i just was like hey uh, yeah i interrupted his taco eating time and i took a self with him guys i'm going to go inside that condo uh, we just had tenants moving out so i couldn't show it to you i didn't want to interrupt other people's privacy now it's vacant going back for rent i am putting it as furnished and guys yeah the guys just moved out so i'm about to in the process of going in and well cleaning up a little bit and waiting for the next tenant to get in there is also guys diner deluxe over here i even shot a video at some point on the inside they gave me like a free bagel i remember it's a nice place a lot of people come here to have a breakfast spend money but anyways guys let me show you how the place looks like here we are i showed a lot of videos from the streets if you've been following the channel for at least past five years my first couple of years I was actually coming out from here from this area guys from this place and yeah i remember there there was a chinese owner of that a small grocery store he had nice paintings around and he jumped at me because i was recording and for some reason he thought that i'm not allowed to record he was really annoyed that i was recording his store from the public sidewalk <laughs> Whew, so much of memories from this community guys and it's growing like look at this stuff over here they are remodeling these properties next to me like guys it's a rent free community it's it's great let me know what you think is the value of the condo and now without further ado let's go inside have a look at my property it was our first property now it's an investment property after since then we purchased it we guys purchased a home we moved there then that home we purchased another home and we moved there and that's how we increased our real estate portfolio and and rentals that's that's called we're sort of a what is it called house hacking you name it but anyways you buy a property you move in then you rent you do rent assessment you buy another property get another mortgage how it's done talk to my wife Nitu. she's a mortgage broker with dlc clear trust mortgages and i'm a realtor with the experience here in calgary but today i'm not showing you somebody else's property i'm showing you my home that i had before i even joined real estate then we moved to another home got the pre-approval guys because if you have a property and they say hey you have you have debt right but then they say hey look you can collect rent from the for rent from the debt and then you say hey i have a down payment and they say well you can have a mortgage that's how you kind of cancel out your first mortgage if you if the rent covers your debt let's go inside now hey guys come on in this is my condo unit this is our apartment and it's just a home tour that's where your guy igor has started the youtube channel where i published on how to drive for uber where i published how to buy a car and immigration videos everything started in this property before i joined real estate before your guy became a realtor yes i my short first video i literally walked through this corridor go to my channel watch the first video it was from here and now i joined into real estate and i increased my investment portfolio into real estate in calgary and that's where you guy Igor lived here now the tenants moved out i'm renting this out as a furnished place here in calgary multiple rentals and i want to say guys this is our kitchen over here is it still the same stove I was using? I updated this one. This thing was not working, so I got a new one. Now it's it's working. Everything is great. And my philosophy and my wife's philosophy, I'm all about paisa vasul. I like to save money. So if it ain't broken, you don't fix it. So this one has been working forever. That's why we still are using it. Guys, it's, that's the place. Dishwasher. Lots of cabinet. This is called Lazy Susie. Oh, that's not mine. Is it mine? anyways it comes out and there is one more like this yeah guys this is the place 
where we live. This was our first place in Canada. You know how much I paid for this place? $11,000. No, it didn't cost $11,000. It was a down payment because you only need 5%. And I was sitting here with my laptop, wires. There's electrical here. Oh, I still remember where the plug is. Plugged in and I was editing my first videos on YouTube. <laughs> This is a decoration. We decorated everything in Alberta. This is Alberta. This is Alberta. This is somewhere in Crescent Heights. That's downtown. That's Calgary Public Library. That is over there. That's Beto Lake. I don't remember all the names of the lakes, but yeah. Look at this place, guys. Why did we buy this property? I was laid off at that time. Nita was the only one working. I think she was working in UPS at that time. I don't remember. I have to ask her. But anyways... Go outside, I'll show you why we purchased this place. This is why. It was like a sort of my penthouse. Where you come out and you have this gigantic, enormous balcony. Where you can have like a part, you can bring a lot of people. There is only two units in this building that have such a patio. It's ourselves and the neighbors on that side. Everybody else is jealous. They have tiny little shitty little patios and we have a big patio and and, they, and that's why we are paying more condo fees a little bit more than other units probably because of that but anyway see there is a calgary tower how much downtown have they built my goodness that's where i met nancy mayor of calgary in the taco place diner deluxe guys this is where your guy igor my first property ever still my property we are renting it out People are like, hey, hey why? They, people are afraid of buying more, taking mortgages, paying interest payments, but people who are renting from us, they are quite literally paying our condo fees, our mortgages, our property taxes, everything. So the idea of getting wealthy in Canada is not about just, you know, saving money. The other idea is you buy a property, you rent it out, people who rent it out, they pay your mortgage. Okay, they pay the interest, they pay the mortgage, they pay the condo fees, they cover everything. And over the time, over the period, I don't care how much money bank is making, as much as, 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 as long as it's not coming out of my pocket, but coming out, out of tenants' pockets, that's how you do it. People rent it for 25 years, the place becomes paid off, and next thing you know, you have a condo that's fully paid off. That's how you do it in Canada, not other way around. Other people are like, oh, but it's a big mortgage. You guys, this place cost me $11,000 to get. Let me know in the comments down below how much you think it's worth right now. I'll tell you later on how much the new property is. Also, good part about it, it's a condo. So, new window here. They changed this one. It was uh, all aluminum, old garbage windows. Now it's triple paint, really insulated, great windows. I love it. And it's all covered in condo fees, so we didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> That's one of the benefits. By the way, these guys' tenants left some chairs for me. Maybe I should take them... I have some chairs like that, but it's all right. Those guys were uh, like us, immigrants. Well, I don't know, guys, some of you are from Canada, but I'm originally an immigrant. I still think myself an immigrant, even though I'm Canadian. I'm no Canadian. And those people who do disagree with me that I'm Canadian, that's their problem. I already got my passport and I get to vote. I get to vote. I remember those people on the YouTube channel. They're like, you're Ukrainian. But I get the same rights as anyone who was born in this country. I get to choose the government too. Anyways, I'm just trying to, just trying to annoy those guys. <laughs> Maybe they'll start commenting. Uh, it's Calgary, so we can. Did they break my cowgirl? It's a little bit shaky. It's a cowgirl. Cowboy, cowboy girl. Let's go see. Because we have Calgary Stampede. I also have... A laundry over here. I forgot to show it on my Russian channel. So I have my washing machine, washer, dryer, vacuum cleaner. I haven't vacuum cleaned place yet, but I'm going to do that before I leave today. Now let's go. I put some wallpaper, guys. Look at this. Look at this wallpaper. Because I'm Ukrainian. I grew up rolled in a wallpaper myself. All right. Let's go over here. That's my favorite bedroom. I used to have a big bed over there and a table over here. And I was shooting videos and I had a board over here hanging. And I was like, guys, this is how you buy a car in Canada. By the way, somewhere during this video, I have to say that I am Vizy Experioti. I'm a real estate agent Vizy Experioti in Calgary, Alberta. My contact and description of this video. But this is where you guy Igor before he was a realtor. 
when he started driving for Uber, I started driving for Uber, I was telling about cars, I was like, hey guys, what's up? And I was making a video from here, guys, so much of memories. <sighs> you know, and Nitu is getting very attached to my wife to properties, but I'm like, he still feels this is my home. I, I spent years in this room, you know, I I was literally building my channel out of this out of this room. I had it bad and I had a side table from Ikea here and I was editing videos and I was shooting videos here and I even had some foam on the walls to make sound sound better without echo guys okay, check this out this is a closet it's actually quite big too and I don't want to open all the doors what do you think so far would you live in such a condo guys do you do realize that this building is 1967 9 I have to check I remember but it's not a new building and yeah, this is another place, guys. This is a master bedroom. By the way, guys, that's where your guy Igor, you know, slept. You know, and this thing belonged to Nito. Mortgage broker, the OC Clear Trust Mortgage is my wife. This was her space, <laughs> not my space. My space was way smaller. I get a little the other closet in the other room. But anyways, two bedrooms for two adults and a cat was not bad. Then we had a kid because this building doesn't have an elevator. So we went to remove some dust on the ceiling. There's some dust. We Actually, one of the reasons we purchased this is this the ceiling fan because Nitu is from India and she loves ceiling fans. And I know why. I went to India as well. We purchased a house once Nitu got pregnant. And she didn't want to stair uh, climb the staircase. She's like, oh, we need to buy a house right now. And I'm like, need to. It's such a big liability. We're taking a mortgage. Like, well, it's another like four seventy thousand dollars And I'm not willing to commit. That's too much of money. But I was stupid and naive at that time. Because I didn't know how mortgages and real estate work in Canada. And I panicked and I panicked. The only thing I regret is that we haven't purchased when we were buying this one, we could have bought a house. We should have had a house and then another house. And then we would have purchased a third house. But now instead, we have a condo, a house, and another house. But anyways, ah, we leave and we learn another storage room. Pretty big. I wanted to make a laundry here. And this is our bathroom. Now, guys, the tenant moved out. They haven't cleaned the place fully. They did clean. They're already sending them their, their deposit damage deposit that they gave us and uh, I'm just doing a walkthrough a little bit cleaning needed here but it's not much else they still have to refresh up like I don't expect people to do as good of a job cleaning as I would do because you know why because when I clean I clean for myself I have a dedication and people are cleaning when they're moving out they're cleaning for others and plus they have baggages plus they have other things so I don't expect 100% like there is one hair sitting here. I don't expect that one hair to be lifted like I'm not that crazy guy, but this is where your guy Igor took shower. This is our condom. What do you think this is worth? Guys, let me know what you think this property is worth. I'll tell you what the new price for this property like this. If you were to buy something in a new home, something like this, you go to sit and you go to buy pre-construction. Guys, call me if you're buying pre-construction. Don't go to the builder directly. Always call your realtor. Builders make contracts only to protect them, themselves. When you buy real estate, resell, it's prepared by Alberta Real Estate Association. So realtors use those agreements. What that means is that you are protected as a buyer and they're protected as a seller. But if you are buying with the builder, they're like, don't worry, lawyers, we'll give you a lawyer. Yes, lawyer well, works for them, not for you. You're signing the contract that's made for them, not for you. So you, they are acting in their best interest and not yours. They are not regulated by uh, Alberta Real Estate Association. They are, they are not re re regulated by Real Estate Council of Alberta. They are not uh, regulated by any or uh, Calgary Real Estate Board or, or anything. They don't have real estate license. So if you sign that agreement and then you disagree on something, well, you have to go to court. And they have a lawyer on a payroll and they have way more money than probably... You and me combined so doesn't matter 10 of us take you and me and multiply 100 but they still have more money they're builders and we are just regular people who are trying to buy a home so i'm saying that they always include realtors commissions into the property price before they even build they include gst 
and they also upcharge as much as they can. And if you don't have a salesperson who is experienced to negotiate on your behalf on your side, like myself, Igor Vizia Experiality, Calgary, Alberta, my contacts in the description of this video, then you might be screwed and it will be on you and you'll have to solve it with your lawyer. Anyways, guys, that's too late after the contract is signed. That's too late. You, you, and you should come for a first visit with Israel. What do you guys think the new property like this would cost? I'll give you a hint, about $350,000 if you're buying a new property. A two bedroom, one bathroom, if you're buying in Seaton, let's say. But if it's the, in this location, might be more, depends on the location of building and square footage. Okay, they are selling for $300,000 like, uh, like a bachelor suite. Uh, I mean, not bachelor suite, but studios right now on the new projects here in downtown, I'm just saying. But what do you think is this worth? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll tell you, it's roughly, well, let's say $270,000 plus or minus. That's my guess for this property on this current market. It might go up, might go down. We will wait and we shall see. But so far, people are moving to Calgary and I'm not selling this property because it went up by $70,000 since last year. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now.